eight rebounds in 37 minutes in their last game that went against Cheshire. And the offensive struggles continue. Are we in for a defensive juggernaut tonight? Patrick Whelan takes a good hard look at this and finds nothing but net. Three-point here he is, sets his feet, no defense. Bad uh, transition defense. So do you find it interesting that while DeVerro Ramsey is guarding Quade Green, or Quade Green's guarding him, Jordan Retinio's guarding. Oh, look at this, right off the bat. Jordan Retinio's guarding Quade Green as Frazier Malcolm buries a three. That could be a problem because Azania looks like a team of Lions who's going to lead on Retinio to put some height on Quade Green as Frazier Malcolm pulls the trigger that time on the mark but can't get it to fall. And Clintamore Jr. keeps it alive for Quade to bury his first bucket of three. Well, that's the problem now. He's got Coutinho in foul troubles, had to hit the bench. Nixon comes on and he just walks right into that three-point shot. So it's going to really be who's going to stop him. He's got people in foul trouble. That's CMG a, takes the lead. feed from his running mate from Pennsylvania, and it's a quick 5-0 run. You get the point, you know. Your team needs you. I think you get the technical, you get the point uh, across. I know in practice, I, I, our 5-on-5 five five had to coach yourselves and, and figure it out. But right now, with that turnover, it's not looking good. Patrick Whelan takes a long-range three from Edinburgh and buries. This is obviously a great time to put in some subs. you got a nice substantial lead by 11. And a nice play right there as Kyle Jimenez. Now I see what we're trying to do. Yes, 100%. And also, who finishes the game, Fruit. Todd? That's what really matters. Nice drive. High off the glass. Doesn't fall. And the rebound taken away by the Sharks. So now an opportunity after a stop to cut this lead into single digits. And a nice spitty move there on the inside. Well done by Kipper Nichols. Caledonia Hodge hedge in the uh, pick and roll here. And then look, he's just attacking that big man. Nice kick to the outside and finds a wide open Jalen Pipkins who needed that. Controlling the rebounds. Now Caledonia tries to extend their defense. And here's what speed can do for you as DeVerro Ramsey gets the floater to fall. And now we've got ourselves a ball game. And at this point, it looks like Sheffield has made Caledonia a little bit one-dimensional as CMJ writes the ship with an opportunity at a three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's getting in their flow. Yeah, and here, nice little pocket pass. Good finish and the bump. Earl Ramsey now with five seconds on the shot clock. Gets around Whelan. This will be a tough shot if it goes nowhere near the rim. But it's going to be an offensive rebound and a nice put back there by Marcus Del Pesh. Good job, Del Pesh. Sticking with it. That's a battle. Uh, getting that rebound over. Money gets single coverage. Oh, that's the wisest defensive move. Five seconds to play now. He's going to take it one on one. Prentice Nixon holds in the air. And of course, Quad A Green gets it to drop as the horn sounds. So Sheffield extending that defense now. They've cut the lead back down to four. Low scoring affair, heavy on the defense. Quaddy Green loses the handle, and now the Sharks are off and running. And look at this. Sharks have got themselves a nice little run. Great matchup there, Green on DeVerro Ramsey. That's East Coast, West Coast, U.S. ball. Philadelphia and L.A. going at it with shot clock now at three. Malik Green's got a huff. Hustle to get that up, and he does indeed. Green. So he goes out with six minutes to play in the third. Ten minute quarters here in the British Basketball League. Kaliza has a good look at it, and there is a pure shooter, the 6 8 forward out of Czechia. So the guards will do battle for the remainder of this third. Nice drive down the lane. Well done and well executed for Jalen Pipkins. Remember, Drew Lasker talked about him kite in a new role for the squad off the bench and another opportunity, and he'll throw it down again. Fast dunk. Why not? Back-to-back -back buckets, a mistake. And, and this is hit. the one. Yeah, it's a quick turnover. Nice little pass. Oh. Fast dunk, why not? Back to the action here. Two-point ball game coming up on three minutes to play here in the third. Shot clock winding down and a beautiful shot. Kyle Johnson, KJ5, buries it. And we'll see who is going to emerge the hero and who is going to step up for their respective squad. Shot clock at seven. Had to rush that shot in. Nicely done there. Melissa Johnson. Baldwin. Shot clock at three. Johnson's going to have to rush this one. And hits. And of course, Princeton Onwas not playing tonight. So they are really thin, the Gladiators are, as they made the trip to Sheffield. Trying to maximize everyone. Beautiful pass to the inside. And here come the Sharks looking to raise it up. Ramsey, Adel Rock, and the foul. And a foul? Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, got him. it does. The hits is hard. Good job. Sheffield without their head coach and Team Alliance, no problem as they have now increased their lead at seven as Del Pesh now takes it to the inside. He's double teamed, has to give it up to Pipkins. It's taken away. Johnson on the stutter step. He gets the fake and the fall. Right now, if you're watching Quad A Green or Q Money, he is well off his season average of 27 points a game. Mind you, this is only his 10th game in the British Ooh. Basketball League. Well, Junior back in the game, so I wonder how long you leave Cook on the bench. Yeah. Pass intercepted by Quad A Green. Bothwell races out in front. Easy layup up and off the glass. We talked about it. They want to slow things down, take some time off the clock. Or Ramsey snakes a beautiful pass to the inside. A well executed play there. Third place in the league with a record of 21 and 12 and a 5 0 record over the last five games. Yeah, and they've done a great job. They've also got a new arena yep. and their crowd has come up big. And that's a nice move. They don't need to panic. They just need to chip away, get stops, and get scores. Tough shot for Quad A Green. It's nicely cleaned up by Clifton Moore Jr. They don't need to panic. They just need to chip away, get stops, and get scores. Tough shot for Quad A Green. It's nicely cleaned up by Clifton Moore Jr. The pencil. Then they've got to go to Bristol to close things out. Business at hand right now. Blake Green goes inside. Clifton Moore Jr. swats that one away. But for both these teams, you know, uh, Caledonia's Green pulls oh, out. Oh, he did not hesitate at all. Kyle Jimenez gets it to Bothwell. Bothwell resets, spins to his left. Frazier Malcolm checks in easy as the Scottish sharpshooter lays that one in. Green off the left elbow. That shot off short. And Prentice Nixon out and running. He's got his running mate there. And it's a nice, easy skip pass as he finds RJ Edelrock. A big win for the London Lions. 93 points. See, and they do that seemingly in their sleep as Bennett Cook drives the lane. Big Ben is blocked by CMJ, but gets it right back, goes right back up, and puts it in this time. Prentice Nixon, Deborah Ramsey, Jordan Retinho, Lee Green, and Quade Green. Now that's blocked away by Bennett Cook. And Cook's going to come back and get called for this foul. Number four. No, he's wide open, but it's yep. not. They want him to shoot the ball. And they get the turnover. So a turnover, and they've got the numbers three on one. They'll go inside to Bothwell. Easy. They had two players in the same time zone. Shark Tank, they're going 12 and 4 here now. This is a difficult place to start uh, to, to win. And Sheffield get it done at home, Todd. The Sheffield Sharks defend their home court here at Cannon Medical Arena. They've been holding teams to 78.7 .7 points a game.